Kuno Leo. Yo, what's up, guys? It's me, Kuno. Kuno Leo. Today, I thought I show you something. <clears throat> I'm working on like a game, like I work on a lot of projects, but uh. fucking table man why is it doing that so yeah I'm working on like a bullet hell kind of game and uh and I thought I could show you guys how I'm doing like uh, let, let me just show you let me just show you as you can see um so this green little thing is like uh is a cursor it's like a target okay and then um, with A and D we can change like I'm gonna show you how to do this kind of like a bullet hell thing there's the different modes and uh, you might be like oh it's like like it, if the cursor is right here none of them will hit me right but the thing is like at least as far as I know like if you know how to like because this is like all the directions like stuff can fly you know bullet hell yeah and uh, the the way I combat it, like uh, the you know um, the the blind spots, is like like when the bullet gets close to you, it like starts chases you around, you know. And the way I did that is uh, where is it? Like here, I got this. It's a bullet follow space, That's right? You might like uh, we got this. This is our okay. This is our character. This is our player, right? The, this little area will always be positioned on the character. It will always follow it around. I think maybe we can. We should. What is this? Yeah, you see? It always follows it around, and when the bullet is inside of this area, it will chase you. So when I go up, when it comes out of the area, it will just uh, ignore the, the player, right? If you know, like, any other, like, way. To make them cover more area or whatever let me know in the comments but uh, yeah and we have like different modes right like for this for example it like we follows the cursor you know and uh, so yeah I'm gonna tell you how to do this I already like uh, got it all sorted out you know but I'm gonna like run you through it there will be a free like example file like uh, when this video is out that you can download the link in the description um, you, yeah you can find like all the stuff I'm gonna post there so, so yeah, it's really easy like rotation like uh, as you can see like um, upon pressing D it goes up one and subtract one you know like basic stuff this is the counter by the way I just gave it this like spread icon you know just to make it cooler to look at i don't know and um when it's zero nothing happens and when it's like one it's like mode one right and two three and four so and like um set the direction right and the thing is we want it to like enemy so we take right click animation direction value and then we just like add plus one right so there, it is. there we go that's how it's done and if you want it to like rotate the other way you take a minus one instead and like um, <clears throat> as you can see uh, when you shoot stuff like oh it shoots this thing at that speed and you know it, it launches the object you, you know like if you this is like if you're not a total noob you know how to like like uh yeah like uh, launch an object bullet speed direction like it doesn't launch it at, at the speed you know but um like when you take like every like for example let's do this like for every like i don't know like 10 milliseconds or whatever now every time it's on three it's gonna it's gonna show sh shoot it slower you know like the the bullets doesn't pop out as fast I can I can show you like how it looks in practice I guess so this is how it can look like you know I'm just gonna 
It's like, well, it looks so uh, trippy and stuff, you know? But as you can see, like, hair is like, uh, they like just clump together and stuff. Like, it also depends on like the timing and like, you know, and how you make it shoot. You can like combat this by just like trying out different stuff. So, I hope this helped. And uh, if you like what you saw, give me a big cool thank you in the comments. I don't know. Bye.